I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your one-stop shop for living on a Bitcoin standard. Sign up and grab gift cards for eSIMs, gaming, e-commerce, your travel needs, food, and much more, and you can buy them all with Bitcoin and Lightning. Sign up today and use code BTC Sessions 10 for some special perks. There's a girl named Lisa Nifty who did a session and it's called the Bitcoin LARP. Those unfamiliar stands for live action role play. But it was it was so well put together. Basically, you had groups of people uh, sitting in at little tables and um, they were effectively doing the roles of what a Bitcoin node and eventually what a Bitcoin miner would do to relay transactions to and from other nodes in the network. And so you'd have different roles where, you know, you had your mempool and you had your actual blockchain of, of uh, confirmed transactions and you'd be doing the transaction IDs and nonces and, and all of this stuff. I was relaying information through the gossip network, which were two strings of yarn between me and other people at other tables. And anytime we had a transaction or did a transaction, you had to put it on a little, <laughs> put it on a little ring and like you'd write it out and you'd put it on a little ring and then you'd, you'd let it go down the line to the next table and the other person would have to take it and put it in our mempool and let everybody else know that they've seen this transaction too. And then, you know, then we did like a mining competition and you're just putting in random nonces to try and guess the block and everything. And like, it was it was wild and it was such a interesting and informative way of doing it. Also, I learned something there, which I'm ashamed I did not know how this worked. I didn't know that the way that fees are allocated in any transaction, I didn't know that was just merely an omission of sending that Bitcoin to any particular place. So like when you're doing a transaction, the way you pay fees is you just say, I've got this much Bitcoin in a UTXO and I'm only going to send a portion of it to this address and whatever's left over, that's what the miners kind of scoop up. I didn't know that. I had no idea that was how it worked. And that's why the number of Bitcoin that exist is some weird super long decimal is because miners can accidentally not scoop up those omitted sats and so there's been instances where there's been mistakes and it's just like well the block has been mined and those sats are just gone forever and it's just because miners like they make a mistake and they they don't scoop up the omitted sats from particular transactions so anyways i learned something new and hats off to Lisa for running a killer session that taught me a lot. She must have put so much work into fine tuning that whole thing and getting it to work. And I loved the um, organized chaos that took place in that room. It was, it was amazing.